What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw the face at a three quarter view. Now let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do when I'm drawing a face is draw a circle and that's going to be sort of the skull for the head. And don't get mad if some of the parts actually look a little wobbly. The circle doesn't have to be perfect but just uh it just has to be a circle. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a center line. But it's not going to be straight down like we would normally do. It's going to be sort of pointing towards either the right or the left depending on your preference. So I'm going to draw it to pointing towards the left. So the center line is going to be kind of uh, bent in the left direction. And then once we draw that we can start to draw the face shape. So it's going to come off of this line right here that kind of comes up, sort of like halfway. But I don't know how to describe it, but let's just say it can go like start off right around here. Or to wherever you feel that it should, it should start. And I'm going to try to make the face shape a little bit smaller than how the diameter of this circle is. So as you can see the circle has this type of diameter. And it's um, the face shape is gonna kind of be like I'd say about half of the circle, and then we're gonna start to make the chin coming right down to you know whatever extent you want, but not too far down if that makes sense. Then we're gonna come back up, and then we're gonna leave that there for now. And then right here where this line starts, we can draw a line kind of coming up. I mean, it's still facing down, but we're going to kind of elevate it a little bit. So drawing this line, this is where the eyes are going to lie. So once we got this line drawn, we can draw the ear in place. And then once we got everything drawn, at this point you can modify any parts of the shape that you want to like fix before we actually go on to draw everything else. So now that we got the face shape done, we can start to draw the neck. And since this is a three quarter view, we can draw the neck however we want. But I'm just going to draw it sort of straight. And it's uh, it's going to be sort of cylinder shaped. And then the shirt. And then I'm going to include sort of a shadow here. Okay. And now, um, after we drew this line, like I said earlier, it um, is where the eyes are going to lie. But before we do that, we're going to draw in the hair. And for this part of the tutorial, you can pick any hairstyle you want. It really doesn't matter. It's just up to your preference, whatever you're going to draw. But for this one, I'm just, just going to draw a girl and I'm just going to throw any hairstyle in there. Okay, so now that the hair is drawn, we're going to start to draw all the facial features, meaning the eyes, nose, mouth, eyebrows, and any other features that we want to add. So first, we're going to draw the eyes. Now, the way I like to draw eyes is kind of different because they're uh, semicircle shapes. And keep in mind that we're still drawing the face at a three-quarter view, so we're going to see more of this side than the other. So how I'm going to draw the eyes is actually, we're going to see a bigger portion of one eye on this side and then a lesser portion on here. So when we draw the eye on this side, it's going to be kind of like squinched a little bit, but not too much. I'm going to make it close to the edge a little bit, to the edge of the face here. And then I'm going to kind of move this one over a bit. Because I don't want the eyes kind of being close together. So 
So something like that. And see, this eye is a little bit more squinched. Or the shape of it, actually. So after we draw the eye, this arc kind of ends right here where these two center lines intersect. And that's where the nose is going to start. So we're going to draw the nose in starting from this point here. And keep in mind, if you have trouble drawing the nose, just kind of match it up with the face shape like I did here. So as you can see, this line here matches the shape here. And then just draw the nose, something like this. And then I'm going to draw in the mouth. And then I'm also fix up the face shape a little bit. You don't have to do this, but um, I just want to fix it up. And sometimes if you make modifications at this point, sometimes uh, the eyes, nose, and mouth, you kind of have to modify. So like say the mouth is kind of too close to the chin, so I'm going to move that up a bit. And in some cases, you got to do that with the nose too and make it smaller or make it, you know, elevated a little bit more. That only works in some cases, but it's only to people's preferences. And then I'm going to draw the eyebrows in. And it's a little bit off, but when I draw the eyebrows, just keep in mind the same principles we use for drawing the eyes. So more of this one will be seen, but the hair is covering most of it. So we're not going to see much of it, but it will have a guaranteed size. So whatever size this one has, this other eyebrow will be slightly smaller. But if you're having trouble doing that, just keep in mind you can match the arcs like you did for the eyes. You can match that with the eyebrows. Only if you're having trouble drawing the eyebrows. But we are using the same principles we used when we drew the eyes in place. So now that almost everything's done, the only thing we have left to do is the irises and the pupils. It's the part of the eye that's kind of colored, that's either blue, brown, black, whatever. So we're going to draw those in place. So you can just have her looking towards the right. And they don't necessarily have to be circles either, they can be ovals. But I, I want to make them at this size. And then I'm going to add some little, I don't know what this is called. I think it's called eyeliner or whatever this is called that I'm drawing. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is eyeliner. But I don't think anyone watching this video would expect me to know that. And then also the ear. I almost forgot that. And then just drawing a small little earring over here. So at this point, we can leave it just like this, but I'm going to speed up the rest of the video so I can show you guys what the face looks like after it's colored and inked and all that stuff and all the details are in place. So let me do that.
So this is the final result of the face actually being inked and colored. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you liked it, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I got my nigga like Pat Kate.